What do you want the Lord to say? What do you want the Lord to say? Well done, thy good and faithful servant, enter in the joy of the Lord. What do you want the Lord to say? What do you want the Lord to say? Well done, thy good and faithful servant, enter in the joy of the Lord. That is what I want the Lord to say. That is what I want the Lord to say. Saying, well done, thy good and faithful servant, enter in the joy of the Lord. What do you want the Lord to say? Oh, what do you want the Lord to say? Well done, thy good and faithful servant, enter in the joy of the Lord. Joy bells keep ringing in my soul. Oh, joy bells keep ringing in my soul. Oh, joy bells, joy bells, joy bells, joy bells, joy bells keep ringing in my soul. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Thank you, Lord. Truly, that's a, a true statement. It should be for all of us. Joy bells keep ringing in your soul. So we want the Lord to say, when it's all said and done, well done, thy good and faithful servant, enter ye into the joy of the Lord. So as we get ready to go before the Lord in prayer, uh, we certainly want to remember men and women and children everywhere, and ask the Lord to ask him to save and add to the church daily such as should be saved, because it's good to be in the house of the Lord, it's good to be in his presence. The Bible says in the presence of the Lord, there's fullness of joy and at his right hand, uh, there's power forevermore. So as we get ready to go before the Lord, if there's any prayer requests that you have, uh, you can let it be known at this time. That's, yes, we certainly will. Yes. All right. Amen. So we certainly pray for her on that wise and that the Lord will bless her and Sister Priscilla. Also, I uh, remember Sister Cora as well. She said she's missing all the saints and um, uh, that uh, she's progressing. She's uh, Now they moved her to the second floor of St. Vincent uh, for rehab. So she's rehabbing. So I uh, pray that the Lord will continue to bless her and to help her. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Pray for Sister Latanya that the Lord will touch her body and give her strength and grace. Amen. Pray for our Bible study on tonight. Pray for men and women and children everywhere that the Lord will continue to save and add to the church daily such as should be saved. Amen. So let the church stand. And let every heart pray, O oh, gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we certainly thank you and praise you for your grace, your mercy, your love, and your kindness. We thank you, Lord, for blessing each and every soul on tonight that we may come together, Lord, to worship you in spirit and in truth. And Lord, we pray that your word will have its free course in our hearts and our minds and our spirit. We ask you, Lord, to look on each and every request that's been made known. Remember men and women and children everywhere. Save and add to the church daily such as should be saved. We ask you, Lord, even to bless uh, Sister Latanya, Lord. Bless Sister Priscilla. Bless Sister Michelle. And bless Sister Cora. And Lord, we ask you to bless all others in the name of Jesus. Remember, uh, Dorothy, the Lord, touch her body. Uh, send forth strength and your grace and your mercy. And Lord, we pray that you take charge of our service on tonight. Let something be said or done to encourage us to inspire our hearts. Father, we give you glory, grace, and honor and praise. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. <clears throat>
we want you to turn with us uh, over to uh, the book of Ephesians, uh, Ephesians chapter number six. And today we want to deal with uh, the helmet of salvation. Uh, today we want to deal with the helmet of salvation. We've already uh, discussed other weapons of warfare, uh, the having your loins girt about with truth. We talked about truth. We talked about righteousness. And uh, we talked about the gospel. Amen. And we talked about the shield of faith on last week. Uh, so today, uh, we want to talk about the helmet of salvation. And I believe you can probably guess what we're going to talk about next week. And that's the sword of the spirit. And we'll conclude uh, with prayer and supplication. Because prayer and supplication, that makes the whole thing work. So when we think about uh, God's weapons, he says, the Bible says, the, the weapons of God's, or our warfare, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they're spiritual. Uh, the weapons that we use are spiritual, and they're mighty through God. The Bible says, through the pulling down of strongholds, God's weapons that he gives unto us uh, to use in this battle are mighty. And when the scripture uh, uh, says words like mighty, strong, and, and powerful, you've got to elevate that in your mind and multiply that a hundred times. <laughs> uh, because Paul is trying to use natural words to bring about understanding and, but when you connect those words to God, uh, it, it becomes dramatic. It becomes uh, extraordinary. It becomes uh, 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 so powerful and so mighty that, that, that it's able to do uh, anything that you have uh, uh, above what you can think or ask. That's how mighty and powerful it is. So when the Bible says God's, the weapons of our warfare are, 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 are mighty, you know, uh, and you've got to multiply that uh, and, and think of something that's real dramatic in, in that sense. Thank you, Lord, about what God has given unto us. And don't underestimate what God has given you. Don't underestimate your faith. Don't underestimate the power of the Holy Ghost. Don't underestimate the love of God. Uh, which is in Christ Jesus. Never underestimate those things because when God, he supplies it, it's, it's, it's more than enough. Amen. It's sufficient. It's more than efficient. Amen. That's why the Bible says, eyes have not seen, no ears have heard. Amen. Why? Uh, because what God has for us uh, is, is we couldn't contain it in our own mind. And when so when God is, uh, uh, when, when the Holy Ghost led Paul to describe these weapons of warfare, they're infallible, amen? They're, 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 they, they, they are awesome in all its ways, amen? Why? Because it comes from God. We should never underestimate God, amen? <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Sometimes I believe, you know, we're human, so we underestimate God sometimes, uh, wondering if God can. You know, God can. Amen. And God has the ability. Amen. Hallelujah. My God. My God. I'm getting excited just by talking about that. Uh, so, so when we think of the weapons, when we think of the weapons, uh, uh, it says the weapons of our warfare are spiritual. So when you think of weapons, you've got to think of uh, the, 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 the objects that God uses to gain you the victory. So you've got to look at prayer as a weapon. You've got to look at fasting as a weapon. You've got to look at praise and worship as a weapon. And you've got to look at the word of God as a weapon. You've got to look at faith as a weapon. You've got to look at the gospel as a weapon. You've got to look at truth as a weapon. You've got to look at your salvation as a weapon. Y'all you, follow me? All of those things are God's weapons. And they're mighty. Amen? They're mighty. Uh, and, and notice what he says. The weapons of our warfare. 
Now, when you look at that word warfare, it literally means strategies. Amen. The strategies that God gives you, uh, how to utilize his weapons, are mighty. Amen. And the strategies come from prayer. The strategies come from fasting. The strategies come from the word. Amen. So when you're operating in fasting and prayer, God gives you strategies and you by faith operate in those strategies and you can't lose. Amen. You can't lose. You, you will bring down strongholds. You will defeat the enemy. Amen. Amen. Y'all with me? Thank you, Lord. But, but, but sometimes uh, uh, in, our, in our way of thinking, we don't, we don't think like that. Uh, when we're coming up against issues and conditions and situations. Uh, you come up against a wall, uh, a brick, you come up against a problem, the first thing you should realize is, uh-oh, the enemy is active. Uh, the enemy is trying to uh, uh, block my blessing. So you automatically start to use God's weapons, fa fasting, prayer, the word of God. Amen? And, and then through that, God, through the Holy Ghost, will give you a strategy, amen, to use against the enemy, and, no, and, and it won't make sense. <laughs> Thank you. God told him to march around the wall seven times. Uh, didn't make sense. God told Moses, stretch out your rod. Doesn't make sense. Amen? Thank you, Lord. And, and what God will tell you, uh, it, 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 it's not up to you. Uh, it's up to God. Amen? It's up to God to bless you. It's up to God to deliver you. There's one thing that, that, that I realized about faith. Uh, uh, I, when I first started out in my Christian walk, I thought I needed to muster up enough faith to believe God. But that's not scripture. Uh, our faith should be just based solely on what Jesus has already done. Uh, that's, where our, that's where our faith should be. Not, not on our ability to believe, but on, on, based on what he's already done. Paul said it this way. He said, I'm crucified with Christ. Uh, nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ, what? He liveth in me. Notice what he said. Now I live, now I live by the faith uh, of the Son of God. Uh, that's how we live. I live, I believe that Jesus died. I believe that he rose again. I, I believe that he got all power. I, that's all I got to have faith in. Uh, and then if I got faith and trust in that, he'll do the work. Amen. He'll move the mountain. It's up to him to move the mountain. I can't move the mountain. Uh, I, I can't deliver myself. Uh, I just got to believe that he did it. Uh, and that's it. All in that glory. That's that's what that's what that's what you know. Reading the word of God will do for your mind. It'll transform your mind just to believe, huh? huh? Just to believe. And when He sees your faith, He'll move on your behalf. In other words, when He sees that you have faith and confidence in Him, He'll move on your behalf. Uh, you ain't got to muster up faith. Just say, "I believe your word." Uh, I'm trusting in you. Uh, uh, Lord, I turn it over to you. Uh, here we go again. Uh, Lord, do it. Uh, do it again. Uh, thank you, Lord. And, and, and that's what the scripture means when it says, we walk by faith and not by sight. Uh, I walk by the faith that I have in Jesus. Uh, I have confidence uh, in the word of God. Don't we have confidence in God's word? Uh, uh, you're not keeping yourself. Uh, hey, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He, the, he that keepeth Israel, he never slumbers nor sleeps. God is keeping us. God is watching over us. Amen. God is moving on our behalf. Uh, and we have faith to believe that. Amen. Hallelujah. My God. All right. So when we look here then, we're talking about the weapons of our warfare. The weapons relates to the things that God uses. I want y'all to get that in your mind. What does God use? You've got to use what God uses. You've got to use the word. You've got to use prayer. You've got to use fasting. You've got to use praise and worship. And you've got to use faith. Amen? You've got to use those. And then when he 
gives you a strategy, you've got to accept it as warfare. Amen? God gives you a strategy to use against the enemy. Amen? And you've got to put into place the strategy that God gives. Notice what the scripture says, and I'm going to move on from this point, that, that it says, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God, through the what? Pulling down the strongholds, amen? Casting down imagination and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Huh? And then it says, God having in readiness to avenge all disobedience uh, when your obedience is done. Amen? So when you follow after God's strategy, you put it into place, God will avenge you. Amen? God's an avenger. Y'all with me? God's an avenger. Thank you, Lord. Sis? All right. Um, the, the weapons that God gives you is the word of God. He gives you prayer. He gives you fasting. He gives you faith. He gives you uh, uh, the gospel. Say again. Oh, yeah, thank you. Praise. Oh, hallelujah. I don't want to forget that. Praise and worship. Amen. And he gives you the gospel. Uh huh. And, and he gives you salvation. Those are, those are your weapons that you use to overcome. Amen? And pull down some stuff. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Anytime you go into battle, you put on these, you, you gather up these weapons. Uh, and, then, and then when you use these weapons, God then gives you strategy. That's very important. When you go into prayer, when you go into fasting, when you go into praise and worship, even the clapping of your hand, the Bible calls that a weapon. You can confuse the enemy. You can break down some stuff. Amen? Why? Because remember I say it don't make sense. Uh, but, but it's God. God, God. God confuses the wise. Uh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. That's why, you know, you see me clap my hands a lot. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. And, and when you, God gives you a strategy, don't question it. Do it. Amen? Because it's backed by God. Uh, and that's why the scripture says, trust in the Lord uh, with all your heart. And don't lean to your own understanding, but acknowledge him in all your ways. And he shall direct your path. Now notice what he said. He says, we don't quote that part too often. He said, let the wicked forsake their ways. Uh, and the unrighteous man, his thoughts. So, so as I'm acknowledging God, and God is moving on my behalf, it won't make sense to me, but I've got to, I got to, I got to, I got to forsake my ways. Uh, I got to forsake my thoughts and follow after God. That's where trust comes in. Amen? And then God will move on your behalf. Because, because, because when you read the scriptures about God, he'll, he'll never be ashamed. Uh, when you put your confidence in him, uh, if, if, if it's like uh, GM, GM backs his product. You know, if you got a problem with it, you take it to them, it's got a warranty. How much more God? Uh, uh, God's word has a guarantee. Amen? He backs his word. Uh, uh, I go. Thank you, Lord. So you can have confidence in God's word. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Now, uh, before we get into uh, the scripture, I want to, uh, Ephesians is where we're going first. But before we get there, uh, I want to, Pastor, will you read for me tonight? All right, thank you. Uh, go to, uh, uh, Lord have mercy, go to uh, Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 59. All right. All right. Yes. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Isaiah 59. And Isaiah 59, it really describes a horrible state that the, the uh, 
Mankind is here. Amen. And this is actually also a prophecy of Jesus. It's a prophecy about Jesus. And, and the beginning of it, it talks about uh, the horrible state that men are in. Notice what it says uh, in, in that, uh, read that first verse, Pastor. Behold, uh -huh. the Lord's hand is not short, that it cannot save, uh -huh. neither his ear heavy, that it cannot hear. Yes. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God. Now ain't that bad? Uh, to be separated from your God? And what separated you from your God? Your iniquities and sins. Uh, that's a bad state to be in. Am I right? All right, read. What's it say? And your sins have hid his face from you. Wow. That he will not hear. Ain't that something? So we need a savior. Huh? We need a deliverer. Read, read the next verse. For your hands are defiled with blood. Uh huh. And your fingers with iniquity. My God. Oh, that's enough, Pastor. Thank you, Lord. I'm getting depressed. <laughs> But, but I'm trying to say we're in a bad shape. But that first verse said, the arm of the Lord is not short. Amen? Amen? Now, drop down now to uh, verse 17. Now, when, when it came to Jesus uh, saving us, he looked at it as war. Amen? As a battle. And, and notice the weapons that Jesus used. All right? Verse, uh, uh, read, read, start with verse 16. And he saw that there was no man uh -huh. and wondered that there was no intercessor. Uh -huh. Therefore his arm brought salvation unto him. Uh -huh. And his righteousness, it sustained him. Now, now, that arm is Jesus. Amen? Jesus is the salvation of God. Amen. The righteousness of God. All right. Read. What's it say? For he put on righteousness as a breastplate. Uh-huh. And a helmet of salvation upon his head. Yes. And he put on the garments of vengeance for clothing. Uh-huh. And was clad with zeal as a cloak. Now notice, this, these garments, uh, it's, it's, uh, Isaiah is prophesying about Jesus when he went out to war against the devil. Amen. Notice what he put on. Read that again. For he put on righteousness as a breastplate. Ain't, ain't that what Paul told us? Put on the breastplate of righteousness. If Jesus had to put it on to defeat the enemy, how much more us? Amen. You know, he said. He said he put on breastplate uh, uh, the righteousness as a breastplate. Read. Notice, Jesus put on a helmet of salvation. Amen? Uh, before he went out to war to defeat the enemy. How much more us? Read. And he put on the garments of vengeance for clothing. Uh -huh. Now notice, uh, he, he wore the garments of vengeance for clothing. That word vengeance means, uh, 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 Lord help me here. It means, it means to, to, to uh, get revenge on the enemy. Amen? Vengeance is not ours, but vengeance belongs to who? The Lord. Amen? So the devil is going to get paid double for what he's doing to us. Amen? Thank you, Lord. So, 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 so Jesus put on that, that, that garment of vengeance. Amen? So that he can get uh, revenge for us. Notice the scripture. He said, he led captivity captive huh? and gave good gifts unto man. He, he gave us those gifts. He was like a conqueror. Amen? And took everything that the enemy stole and gave it back to us. He stole some spiritual things. We ought to think about the natural things. But he stole. He stole our peace. He stole our joy. Huh? He's, he's trying to steal our inheritance. Amen? And we can, we can go all down the road of uh, the line of what the enemy stole. But, but in Jesus, he gives that all back. That's vengeance. Amen. Huh? Thank you, Lord. And he does it with zeal. Amen? Amen. The zeal of the Lord. Hallelujah. He does it with happiness and joy. Amen? 
Thank you, Lord. But my point to go to this verse is, is that we were in a horrible state and there was none to gain the victory for us but Jesus. And when Jesus went out to battle against the enemy, he put on righteousness. He put on salvation. Amen. He put on garments of praise and worship. Amen. That's what we've got to do. Amen. Hallelujah. All right, let's go back over. Thank you, Jesus. My God. My God. I'm getting too happy. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, Ephesians chapter number 6. And verse 17. All right. All right. And take so, the helmet of salvation. Uh-huh. And the sword of the spirit. Yes. Which is the word of God. All right. Tonight, uh, we're going to deal tonight exclusively with the helmet of salvation. Amen. That's, tonight, we're going to deal exclusively with the helmet of salvation. And um, if you... Uh, were to study Roman history. Uh, the helmet was literally given uh, for protection. And that helmet uh, literally was tight around the head um, for, for, for various reasons. Because uh, the enemy is literally trying to take your head off. Uh, that's, that's where your intellect is. That's where your mind is. That's why he fights you in your mind. Huh? That's where the battleground, that's where he rages war. Huh? Lust is already in your members. Huh? But if he can get control of your mind, he got control of you. Huh? Y'all seen people with good minds. Y'all seen people with bad minds. I was driving uh, 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 downtown today. And the Lord showed me, he said, now look over there. There was a, a lady sitting on the curb in front of the, uh, it was the Hilton, I don't know what it is now, uh, hotel. And how, what's the name of it? Avalon. Yeah, that's it. The Avalon. And she was having a whole long conversation uh, with herself uh, or some imaginary friends. You know, that, that tell you her mind is bad. Uh, the mind is bad. Thank you, Lord. And, and when your mind is bad, you do bad things. Huh? The enemy got control. So he wants to attack that part of you so he can get control over you. Yes. Amen? So, so, so when, when the Roman soldiers, when they were given a helmet, the, the, you look at that helmet, some of those helmets were highly decorated. Uh, they had plumes on it, uh, looking pretty. And they had engravements on it, things such as that. And those helmets stood out. God is saying that, that our salvation, when we're walking in his steps of salvation, we should stand out. Uh, uh, we should look, uh, if you'd like me to say it, uh, 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 ornate. If you allow me to say it, allow your light to shine. Amen. You should stand out. Uh, people should, should know you say uh, 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 because you're walking with God. Uh, because you get out with his with his with his ornaments of, of, of righteousness and holiness. Amen. You you get out with 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 uh, uh, what's the scripture? What the Holy Ghost gives us? The fruit of the spirit, peace, joy. Amen. Gentleness, meekness. Uh, those are your garments. Those are your ornaments that, that set you apart. Yeah. Uh, when you, when, uh, oftentimes, uh, when, when people have been walking with the Lord a long time and they go off and, 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 and go off and be with the Lord, uh, I often call them, you know, uh, uh, they were, they were, they were representatives of God's righteousness. Amen? Representatives of God's holiness. And they stand out. Amen? Uh, people, people should be able to pot spot you in the crowd. Uh, because you stand out. Uh, because you're walking in salvation. Uh, you're walking in deliverance. That's part of God's calling upon your life. <laughs> hey, hallelujah. God, God wants people to see you shine. 
Not because then they can ask you, huh, what, what makes you so different? And then the scripture says, you have a responsibility huh, to give them that answer. Amen. You don't tell them about your own business. <laughs> you tell them, it's the Lord. Uh, 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 it's the Lord. He's the one uh, that separated me from my sin. He's the one that saved me and delivered me. Yes. Amen. So, so when you're looking at then salvation, the, the, the helmet of salvation, that helmet, when you think about it, it's used for protection. Amen. Salvation is a means of protection. Yes, sir. It protects you. Amen. Amen. And, and uh, when you put on that helmet, read that verse again, Pastor. And take the helmet of salvation uh -huh. and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Now notice the first thing he said. He said, take it. Uh, take it. Remaining that God is giving it to you. You receive it. Amen? Receive it. You need it. Amen? Receive it. Don't try to fight the enemy under your own power, under your own belief of salvation. Huh? You've got to defeat the enemy with God's salvation through Jesus Christ. And he's given it to you. You've got to take it. You've got to receive it. Amen. Receive your blessings. Uh, receive what God is, is trying to give to you. You know, when I, when I was studying this, the thought came to my mind. You know, we, we all, we, we'll be quicker to receive a house than quicker to receive a word uh, from the Lord. Uh, we think that that, word, that house is more valuable than that word. Amen. But that word is more valuable uh, than that house. Uh, because that house you'll get tired of. But that word you can live by. That word you can overcome by. Uh, those, those spiritual blessings are more valuable uh, than those natural blessings. We, we pray more for them than we pray for those spiritual things that God wants to give us. That's why Jesus said, seek ye first uh, the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And then those other things shall be added. And uh, they're coming. Uh, but, but, but what's more valuable? What profit of a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? And what shall a man give in exchange? Uh, we gotta, we got to realize those spiritual things are more valuable. Lord, give me that. Give me the anointing. Uh, give me your word. Uh, give, uh, give me a spirit of prayer. Uh, give me a spirit of faith. Give me a spirit of giving. Give me a spirit of joy. Uh, those things will endure. Uh, when when God, God, God gives you those things, he don't take them back. Uh, hey, hallelujah. You, you may lose your house, uh, but you won't lose your joy if you walk with Jesus. Uh, you, won't, you won't lose that revelation uh, that he gives you in his word. Because that will help you to be a, a, a fight to stand strong. Amen. Hallelujah. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Thank you, Jesus. When, when God gives you a revelation, then when the enemy comes, you, you'll stand on it and believe God and the devil can't take that away. Uh, when he tells you, if God said you healed and the enemy said you, 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 you're sick, you say, no, nah, devil. Uh, God said I'm healed. He sent me a word. Amen. He sent me some confirmation. Hey, honey, I'm healed and I'm delivered. Uh, and when you stand on God's word, you can do anything. Uh, uh, greater. He tell you greater. Greater is he uh, that is in you uh, than he that is in the world. Thank you, Lord. So, so we've, got to, we've got to get our mind uh, on, on, on what's valuable. Uh, and that word of God is more valuable than, than, than anything natural. Amen. All this natural stuff is going to perish. Amen. Oh, that's going to that's gonna perish. Yeah, you need, you need natural things. Don't get me wrong. God said he'll supply that. Amen. But, but what's more important is the spiritual. That's more important. 
Amen? Hallelujah. You can have, you can have all kind of natural stuff uh, and blow your brains out. Amen? But you can be poor as desert dust and have God's word and have some peace. <laughs> hey! I'm that pastor's all understanding. I use one of Sister Jackie's words, desert dust. <laughs> you have some peace that passes all understanding. Amen? All right, glory. Come on, give God a praise. I just want to pray. Hey! God is mighty. Hey, he's mighty. So when we think about that helmet, it protects our, our head, the, the center, our intellect. It protects our will. It protects our desires. It protects our emotions. Amen? It protects our intents. Thank you, Lord. It protects us from, from the hand of the enemy. And, 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 and that helmet of salvation also gives you something. It gives you wisdom. Uh, it gives you knowledge. It gives you understanding in Jesus Christ. Amen? Thank you, Lord. So that, so that you can uh, know that you're delivered. Amen. When you're going down to fight the enemy, you cannot be like the seven sons of Sceva or Siva and say, well, Paul I know, Jesus I know, uh, I rebuke you in that name uh, that they preach, that Paul preached. Uh, because they weren't sure uh, the enemy jumped on them uh, and woke them. Uh, you, God has given you something to be sure in. Uh, when you go down and fight the enemy, you got to be sure. Hey, and that helmet of salvation causes you to be sure. Hey, uh, uh, come on, give God a uh, I, I, I'm sure that Jesus died. I'm sure that he rose again. I'm sure he got up on the third day. And when he got up, he got up at the fifth day. I'm sure that being baptized in Jesus' name, it's been removed your sin. I'm sure if you call on God, he'll fill you with the Holy Ghost. Hey, I'm sure of that. Hey, I'm sure of, of, of if any man be in Christ. He's a new creature. She's a new creature. All old things have passed away. Uh, behold, all things have become new. Now, the, the bottom line you got to be sure of is, is that Jesus defeated the devil. Amen. The devil is defeated. Huh? you got to be sure of that when you, when you go up against the enemy. Amen. Be sure of that. Huh? Be sure that Jesus uh, 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 defeated that devil. And know how huh? he defeated him. Say, how, Pastor? On the cross. Uh, when he went to the cross, uh, when he went to the cross, uh, he paid the price uh, for all your sins. He was wounded for your transgression. He was bruised for your iniquities. And the chastisement of your peace was laid upon him. And with his stripes, you are healed. You are delivered. Uh, hallelujah. Have faith in that. Believe in that. That's part of that helmet of salvation. Amen. Y'all with me? Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now, Pastor Doug, my God. Hallelujah. I'm about to bust up in here. Thank you. We sure this thing. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Confident. I'll be confident. Be confident in this thing. Yeah. Amen. Confident in who you believe. Yeah. Confident in who you trust. Yeah. Amen. So, so the helmet is given for you for protection. It protects you. Amen. It protects your mind. Because the enemy comes against your mind. He attacks your thoughts. Huh? He, 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 he comes and he puts evil thoughts in your mind. Amen. He'll tell you you're no good. You're worthless. That God doesn't care about you. Amen. That God, that God ain't stunting you. Amen. He'll tell you that, won't he? Uh, but you've got you to lean on your salvation and say, devil, you lying because Jesus died for me. Uh, and if God be for me, who then can be against me? Uh, and, 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 and my salvation says, you're a liar anyway from the beginning. 
You just mad because you know where you go. Amen. So you trying to take me with you. Amen. Hallelujah. So, so, so that salvation it protects you from it. Amen. Because the enemy, he'll he'll try to he he's an accuser of the brethren. Amen. And 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 you've got to know that that word accuser means he just makes accusations. Uh, and the truth ain't in him. Amen? So, so, so when he's saying all of that, you've got to use God's weapons and realize, uh-uh, this ain't true. Uh, this ain't true. You're just an accuser of the brother. You're trying to bring me down. Amen? You're trying to steal from me what Jesus gave to me. Amen? Uh, and you've got to be assured of what Jesus did for you. Amen. Thank you Lord. Now pastor. Go with us over here then. To uh, 2 Timothy. 2 Timothy. Uh, chapter number 1. Yep. Chapter number 1. And verse. I'm sorry. Thank you Holy Ghost. Uh, verse number nine. Drop down to verse number nine. Who has saved us? Now notice. Read, read verse eight. Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord. Uh huh. Nor of me, but his prison. Now, now, don't be ashamed of the testimony of Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Uh, Jesus, he died, and they, he died with the with the malefactor. Amen. He died a cursed death. Yeah. Amen. And they looked down on Jesus uh, for doing that, but he was really dying in our spot. He was dying in our sin and our stead because we're cursed. Amen. We were in a bad way. Uh, so read what it said. Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord. Uh-huh. Now, uh, uh, operate uh, and be a partaker of whatever shame and guilt that may come onto you uh, uh, through the power of God, the weapons of God's warfare. Amen? Thank you, Lord. Read. Bring you on first time. Who has saved us? Now, notice, Jesus did what? He saved us. Uh, when you're going into battle, against the enemy, you got to know that you saved. Yeah. And you got to know who saved you. Yeah. Uh, you didn't save yourself. Uh, Jesus saved us. Yeah. Amen. Saved us to the uttermost. <laughs> hey, and your salvation is sure. Yeah. Amen. And, 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 and it's not uh, uh, he saved us uh, and, and that, that, that saved us Meaning that you're saved right now. Yeah. Uh, I'm not progressively getting saved. Uh, I'm saved right now. You're not progressively getting saved. You're saved right now. Uh, right now. Just like right now. Uh, I heard that word preached one day. I believe it was Bishop Jones. He talked about faith. He said, now faith is. Uh, it's an active thing right now. Your salvation is right now. Yeah. Huh? Hallelujah. All right, give God a praise for your right now. Right. If Jesus cut that shot, you going out. Huh? If Jesus said cut my people, you get out of here. Yeah. Hey. Right now. Tell somebody right now. Yeah. Hallelujah. My God, I want to say he come down, Lord. <laughs> Come right now. Hey, shut down uh, All of this stuff will be on. Hey, I don't need to be absent from the body to be present with the Lord. Right now. Hallelujah. Thank you. You saved us. Huh? Read what's it say? Who have saved us uh -huh. and called us with a holy calling. Now, hold on. He called us with a holy calling. That holy calling is the gospel 
of Jesus Christ. When you heard the gospel, that you heard him calling you. Amen. Calling you into his salvation. Calling you into his deliverance. Calling you into his anointing. Calling you into uh, 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 healing your broken heart. Calling you into setting you, you free. How did he call you? Hallelujah. So that you can be liberated out from the hand of the enemy. The, the gospel is powerful. It's the calling of God that, that calls us into righteousness. It calls us into holiness. It calls us into Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And it's finished. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So don't be ashamed of this gospel. Now stand on this gospel. That's your call. Amen. That's what he called you. Amen. Uh, when you heard the gospel, uh, he was calling you in uh, with, with loving kindness uh, to forgive your sins, uh, to deliver you from the hand of the enemy, uh, to wash you from all of your filth. Hey, cut up those shut. Uh, to clean you up. Uh, to set you aright so you can walk in his purpose. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To give you power over the enemy. Uh, uh, that gospel represents your emancipation, uh, your emancipation papers. Amen. Hallelujah. That's the power of it. All right. Read. What's it say? But not, but according to his own oh, wait, excuse me. Thank you. Not according to our words. Now notice, you wasn't saved according to your own words. You can't save yourself. Amen. You can't deliver yourself. You can't bring yourself out. Amen. Y'all with me? Thank you, Lord. So, so, so don't even try it. <laughs> oh, there's nothing good. No, not one. All your righteousness is as filthy rags. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Read. But according to his own purpose and grace. Uh, now, God delivered you according to his own purpose. God purposed in you before the foundation of the world that you should be holy without blame before him in love through Jesus Christ. Uh, that was God's purpose. Amen. That was his purpose in you. Uh, and, God, and God blessed you. Uh, he blessed you even before you got here. You blessed. Amen. Uh, hallelujah. He blessed you with all spiritual blessings. Uh, in Christ Jesus, God gave you everything you need to, 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 that pertains to life, uh, this natural world, and godliness. I'm talking about salvation now. Uh, so when you're going down to battle with the enemy, he try to offer you some stuff. Uh, you be like Abraham. Not so. At least you say you may be rich. Uh, uh, I'm trusted in God. Uh, and then allow God to testify. And tell you that, that I am your shield and I'm your exceeding great reward. Amen. Uh, that's salvation. Amen. That's deliverance. Amen. Hallelujah. All right, read. What's say, Pastor? But according to his own purpose and grace. Uh, now, God blessed you according to his own purpose. That purpose deals with God's intent. It deals with God's will. And he did it by his grace, his power. Uh, hallelujah. And the, the Bible says that the grace of God has appeared unto all men. Uh, and that's Jesus Christ. Teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, that we should live soberly uh, and righteously down here in this present world. That's salvation. Uh, for you to live godly. For you to live righteously down here in this present world. So when the enemy offers you something that's not godly, that's not righteous, you reject it. You resist him. You got power. You got the anointing. You got authority. You got to keep your God.
And we got victory in Jesus. You ought to give your God a praise. That's why he said you ain't got to wait till the battle is over. You can shout right now. Why? Because he already blessed you. You've already been to the water. You've already been baptized. You've already declared that kind of shot that you're on the Lord's side. That kind of shot. Before you even uh, came on the scene. Amen. Before the world began, God already delivered you. Before the world began, God already set you free. And whom the Son has set free is what? Free indeed. Amen. You free. Huh? In Christ Jesus. Amen. Walk in that freedom. Walk in that anointing. Walk in that deliverance. Amen. And, and that's what salvation is. Salvation is the knowledge of what we're talking about now. Yes. The knowledge of what Christ has done for you. Yes. Uh, the knowledge of what Christ is to you. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, y'all don't want me to go on to what he is to you now. Hallelujah. All right, go ahead, Pastor. Verse 10. Uh-huh. But it's now made manifest by the appearing of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Now, this is key. Your salvation was made known what God had already done before the foundation of the world was made known when Jesus came on the scene and died over 2,000 years ago. He made it known. That's what the scripture means when it says, who hath believed our report? What report? That which was written about Jesus. And to whom have the arm of the Lord been revealed? Amen. Thank God that that arm has been revealed to you. Huh? Thank you, Lord. That, uh, what I'm saying is, uh, thank God that salvation is revealed to you. Yeah. Not many wise, not many noble. Amen. But God has called the foolish uh, uh, of this world. Yeah. Amen. The foolish things of this world to confound the wise. Yeah. Amen. Thank God you believe in foolishness. <laughs> thank God you believe in God. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Y'all with me? Thank you, Lord. All right, read. Now, hold on. See, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost is helping me. We've got to believe the scriptures. Uh, all that was written about Jesus. The angels desired to look into it. But it was hid from them. But God made it known unto us. Amen. Hallelujah. That's why I said, oh, taste and see uh, that the Lord is good. Amen. And, and that's why the Bible says, talks about those that have tasted uh, of his salvation. Those that have tasted of his goodness. Those that have tasted of his, of his power. If they draw back, uh, he has no pleasure in them. Uh, why? Because, because they have tasted. Amen. Yeah, they've been affiliated. Hey, hallelujah. Come on, shout that out about you. I'm glad I know Jesus. I'm glad I know him as a savior. I know I'm glad I know him as a lily of the valley. Uh -oh. oh my God. Hallelujah. I got help. Amen. Amen. You got help. Amen. Amen. See, when you understand salvation, when you get into trouble, huh, you know that Jesus is your help. Uh, you ain't got to stay in a dead situation. You ain't got to stay in a, in a bad place. Amen. You got help. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And that's what, that's what the enemy wants to hide from you. He wants you to think that, oh, God, now I didn't did the unthinkable. Oh, God, I, didn't, I just stayed away from church three weeks. Now, there's no help for me. <laughs> Lose here. Oh, thank you. This thing, this thing what Jesus did for us is great. Amen. Amen. It's powerful. And the enemy don't want you to know what you got. Amen? Hallelujah. My God. My God. 
All right, read what's that. Who have abolished death? Now notice, he did what to death? Abolished. abolished. Amen? People still die, ain't they? But Jesus abolished it. Huh? It's going to be done away with it. Huh? Am I right? It's abolished. Amen? Now, uh, the death that he's talking about is spiritual death. It's abolished in Christ Jesus. Huh? Death has no dominion over you if you are in Christ. Am I right? No dominion. I don't care if they shoot me dead. Huh? That, that ain't going to stop me from living. Huh? Because I'm already alive. I already got eternal life. You already got eternal life. Huh? God would just flip the switch and say, okay, well, his mortal is going to put on immortality. Huh? His corruptible is going to put on incorruption. Huh? That's Because it's written in my word. Huh? That's my salvation. That's my deliverance. Amen? Huh? So don't fear death. Don't fear natural death. In fact, when it comes, embrace it. You follow me? The Bible say, the scriptures say in the book of uh, Isaiah, y'all might say, Pastor, lost his mind yet. He ain't, he ain't dying, so, <laughs> you know, but, but, but the scriptures say, it say that the, the righteous die and we don't take it to heart. Huh? Uh, because they died and they escaped uh, a world of corruption. A world of iniquity. Yeah. Uh, to, to be absent from this body is to be present with the Lord. Yeah. I know all of y'all want to be present with the Lord. Yeah. Uh, hallelujah. Yeah. Now, I ain't saying I want to die right now. Uh, but, 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 like Paul said, uh, whether to live or whether to die, it's a win win. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So don't let the enemy. Torment you with death. Hmm. Amen? Amen? He torments people with death. Yes. The scripture in the book of Hebrews talks about that. That, that they were tormented uh, uh, because of death. Hmm. Amen? Scared of them. Afraid. Amen? I don't know uh, what death entails, uh, but I know that, that Jesus will be with you. Yeah. You got to know that Jesus will be with you. Amen? He'll walk you through the shadow of the valley of death. Amen? Come on in, somebody. Uh, Y'all want me to move away from death. All right. Go ahead, Pastor. What's that? And have brought life and immortality to life through the gospel. Now notice. See that? That's why that gospel is your calling. Through the, he have brought life. That means, that word light there means wisdom, knowledge understand it. When you receive the gospel of Jesus Christ, you receive wisdom, knowledge, and understand it. Jesus is the light of the world that lighted every man that cometh into the world. You, you regain an understanding of your God. Amen? Notice what he says. He's brought light and what? And has brought light uh -huh. To light through the gospel. Amen. So he gives you light, life through an immortality through what? Through the gospel. Through, through gospel. That's salvation. Amen. That's deliverance. All right, read. What verse is it? All right, read. Whereunto I am appointed a preacher uh -huh. and an apostle yes. and a teacher of the Gentiles. All right, read all the way down to 12. For the which cause I also suffer these things, nevertheless I am not ashamed. <laughs> For I know whom I have believed. Now, you got to know in whom you believe. Yeah. Read. And am persuaded that he committed, that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. Now, you've got to be persuaded <laughs> huh, that, that Jesus is able to to save you to the uttermost. Yeah, yeah. And you've got to be committed to that. Right. Amen? Yeah. The enemy will try to get you persuaded differently. When he does that, you'll lose every battle. Amen? you got 
to be assured of that Jesus died, that he rose again. Amen? That repentance and remission of sins has been preached in his name. Amen? And then go over to Hebrews chapter number 6. Y'all with me? Hebrews chapter number 6. Read verse number 1. I know it. Hebrews chapter number 6 and 1 it says, Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ, let us do what? Go on to perfection. Go on to maturity. Amen? Walk in your salvation. Amen? When I, when I first got saved, I'm going to be honest. I struggled with the fact of whether or not I was saved. Am I saved? Am I not saved? Sometimes <laughs> I, I come to Bible class feeling like I'm saved. And when I leave, <laughs> when I, leave I said, oh, God, I ain't saved. <laughs> My God. My God. Thank you, Jesus. The enemy will tell you the lie. Amen? Amen. But you got to know yeah. if, 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 if you're walking with Jesus, you're not committing acts of unrighteousness. You're saved. You've been baptized in his name, filled with the Holy Ghost. I've confessed your sins. you say, saved. Walking with him. Amen? No matter how rough your day is. Amen? Amen? We all have rough days, don't we? Amen. 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 Test some trials, don't we? Amen. Sister Jackie? Uh, Bishop, do you think he tells us, tell us those lies so that we won't move on to the next? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's part of his strategy. Yep. Work with your unbelief. <laughs> Sister? Say that again, sis. He's baptized. How do you know that you're again? By repenting and, 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 and receiving prayer, confessing your sins. And 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 because he's just and faithful to forgive your sins, and the blood of Jesus will cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Amen. So it ain't a, ain't a matter of retearing, it ain't a matter of uh, Climbing the mountain, you know, it's a matter of, of coming to Jesus and believing what is written in the epistles. Yep, and allow him to do the work. Thank you, Jesus. And when, and when that temptation comes again, you resist it. Huh? Resist it. New creature, don't be, don't be tricked again. Amen. Don't be tricked again. You don't want to live on confession. Some people do that, you know. You don't want to do that. Amen. Resist the devil steadfast. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And then when the enemy come to tell you, uh -uh, you still ain't saved, you, you, well, uh, I'm going to see. <laughs> really, I'm going to say this first and foremost, that don't even have a conversation, you know, because he's a liar. You know what I mean? And, and, and people get into trouble. Thank you, Holy Ghost. People get into trouble when they try to converse with the devil. That's what happened to Eve. She tried to converse with the devil, and he got it. Yeah. Amen. Don't try to converse with him. Because he's wise to the most of us. Exactly. And he's quick. Exactly. How, how, is he, how is he described in the book of Genesis? Serpent, more susceptible than, than beast in the field, as she described. Wise, and then he's tricky, cunning. Solomon, cunning. 
Follow me? So don't, so don't even get in conversation with me. Just stand on the gospel. Stand on the truth. Amen? Resist it. Resist that. Woo! Now I just got revelation. Huh? That's, that's an attack. Now that's a trick. <laughs> Holy Ghost is real. <laughs> this is it. Yes. But being under the word, I continue to second myself. Yes. And when he attacked me, I would let him know I've searched myself. Yes. I've lived according to the teaching. I've lived according to God's word. Mm -hmm. I haven't broken the scripture. Thank you. You know, I go to church. I pray. I do this. I, I let the devil know. You know, I'm living according to the word of God. I got the Holy Ghost, so you might as well leave me alone. Get behind me, Satan. Yeah. I, I, know, I know my life. Get behind me. So get behind me. Yeah. yeah. I'm obeying the Lord. Get behind me. That's it. Yeah. Go ahead. He knows your life. That's it. He knows your life. That's why he's bothered. Oh. Uh, so you have to do what the scripture said. It said resist him steadfast. Step back. And he'll flee. He'll flee. You have to say that to save the Lord. Uh, yeah. Get thee behind me. That's, right. That's all you have to say. Thank you, Jesus. Because he knows. He's wicked. Isn't he wicked? Yes, he Ain't he wicked? Yeah. 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 No truth in it. Yeah. That was for my sister. I know you never know. Absolutely. So sometimes you have to, you know, you have to convince yourself. Hallelujah. The devil is so powerful sometimes. He has you thinking a lie like him. He got power. So, so you have to convince yourself. I talk to the devil Thank and you. I want him to know. You know, I got it. Got it. Get behind me. Get behind me. Yeah. That, like she said, that's why the devil comes to you. Because yeah. he knows the word of God. Right. He knows whether you have it or not. Yeah. Thank you. And notice when he came when he came to Jesus. He said, If thou be uh, the Son of God. Amen. And you remember after uh after Jesus went through that wilderness experience, uh the devil, uh, when they were, was in that possessed uh fellow, they said, Art thou come to torment us before it's time, Jesus? We know who thou art. Uh, they knew who Jesus is. Uh, the devil know who you are. Uh, he knows what's in you. <laughs> Hallelujah. If he said you come to torment, yes. I come to torment you. <laughs> all right, all right. Me, come up back here, Pastor. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Thank you. What's it say? Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of uh, Christ, uh -huh. let us go on unto perfection. Yes. Not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith for God. Now, that's that's salvation. Mm -hmm. It's progressive in in not that you say, but it's progressive in your acts of maturity. Father, you you got to grow in your knowledge uh, of what you got. What you got ain't worth any amount of sin. No matter what it is. Amen? If uh, Bill Gates were to come in here and offer you a billion of his dollars, if you uh, just sleep with him one night, it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. Father? Yeah. Devil will haunt you. <laughs> Somebody scratching his head, baby. <laughs> Devil will get you. As soon as you do it, Pastor, you are soon. Now, well, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, so Jack, I'm going to shave it a little closer. As soon as you accept the thought in your mind. You got it. Yeah. Enemy got you. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't that something? Mm -hmm. So, so what, 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 what this scripture is saying, what I'm trying to bring you to, is therefore leaving the principles of the doctrine. Jesus died. He rose again. I got the Holy Ghost. Just like the Bible says. Amen? That's good. That's the good foundation. 
But start to walk worthy of the vocation. Wherever you've been called. Amen? Go on to some maturity. Amen? Don't be carried about with every wind of doctrine. Uh, whatever the enemy presents you. Father, all the devil picked on me today, so I ain't going to church. Uh, don't do that loose here. He's supposed to pick on you. Who he gonna pick on? He got them by the phone. He wants you. <laughs> uh, you're supposed to pick on him. You follow? And notice what he said. Uh, Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ, let us go on to perfection. Notice, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works. Don't keep doing the same stuff. Amen? And, and faith toward God. Uh, of the doctrine of baptisms, notice baptisms with an S. That's water baptism and the infilling of the Holy Ghost. And laying on the hands and the resurrection of the dead and eternal judgment. And this will we do if God permit it. God wants to permit you to go on to perfection. He wants you to. Amen. Now, let's go over then uh, to the uh, book of James. I'm, I'm sorry, the book of John. Um, first John, chapter number five. First John. Chapter number 5 and verse 11. We're talking about salvation. You being assured of what you have. Amen? When we go armed in the battle, we got to have this wisdom. When we're coming up against the devil, we got to have this knowledge and understanding about the power of salvation. Amen? Jesus only died how many times? Once. Amen? He died once. He ain't going to die for you again. <laughs> he died once. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. So there's only one salvation. All right? Uh, 1 John chapter number 5, 1 John chapter number 5, verse 11. And this is the record that God hath given to us eternal life. Okay, hold on. Read verse 10. I'm sorry. He that believeth on the Son of God hath the witness in himself. Uh -huh. He that believeth not God hath made himself, made him a liar. Uh -huh. Because he did believe it, not the record that God gave of his son. Read. And this is the record that God has given to us eternal life. And this life is in his son. All right. God has given unto us. What kind of life? Eternal life. You have eternal life abiding in you right now. Right now. Amen. Hallelujah. Right now. Whom the Son has set free is what? Free indeed. You free right now. Now, you can be bound in your mind. Huh? But Christ still has set you free. With it? Amen. Notice what he said. And this is the record that God, who gave it? God hath given unto us eternal life. And this life is where? In, the Son. In Jesus Christ. Yes. Read. He that hath the Son hath life. Now note, he that hath Jesus hath life. Do you got Jesus? Yes, yes you got life. You pass from darkness to life. Amen. From death to life. Amen. Hallelujah. When y'all leave here, I want y'all to walk a different way. Hey, hallelujah. Go lay hands on some stuff. Uh, 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 rebuke some stuff. You follow? I read what it said. And he that hath not the Son of God 
Uh-huh. Amen. Those that don't have Jesus, they don't have what? Life. Life. All right, verse 13. Read. These things have I written unto you uh-huh. that believe on the name of, of the Son of God that ye may know that ye have eternal life and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. Amen. Now notice, he wants you to believe on Jesus' name. Amen. That's, that's the helmet of salvation. Believing on Jesus. Because when the enemy comes to attack you, he's trying to discredit you through Jesus Christ. Saying that Jesus didn't do what he said he was going to do. Trying to make him a liar. Amen. But he's not a liar. Amen. Thanks be to God that giveth us the victory through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That's what you got to make your war on. That's what you got to make your fight on. Huh? Jesus died. Huh? Yea, rather, he has risen again. Huh? And we've got power huh? through Jesus Christ. Huh? Thank you, Lord. And because I got that power, I'm delivered. Huh? Yeah. Uh, I may struggle in fighting my body with sin, but I'm delivered. Yes, huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Uh, I may be tempted to lie, but I'm delivered. Yes, Sis? Uh, say again. Yes. Absolutely. That's it. That's what salvation is. See, I'm standing up here at attention. Because that's what it is. Amen. Uh, you got power to abstain for everything that can be offered you. Uh, in fact, I'd be like Evangelist Harrington. Put him under your feet. Uh, that's where he belongs. Uh, he, don't, he don't belong at your table. Uh, he don't belong in your thoughts. He don't belong in your mind. He don't belong in your dreams. Amen. Huh? He belongs in your feet. Yes, sir. Huh? Why? Because Jesus gave you the victory. Yes. Now, every day we got to manifest that victory. Yes. Every day we got to walk in that victory. Yes. Every day. Yes. Every minute of the day. Yes, sir. Amen. When he's attacking me, I got to walk in that victory. Yes. Amen. When he's attacking you. The enemy's going to attack you. Amen? When he's doing that, you put on that helmet of salvation that's guarding you against you're no good, you're worthless, you're ugly, you're short, you're fat, you're black, you're nappy head. Huh? Whatever he says. Huh? Your mother and father don't love you. Saints don't love you. He, he said, Jesus don't love you. Come on. Uh, he'll tell you that. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Amen. And as you're going through your tests and your trials, he'll uh, cause a disillusioned reality. What I mean by that is, uh, he tell you, people don't like you, then he'll cause one of those people that uh, he got control over to come tell you, I don't like you. I never did. Follow? And then, because of that, in our own mind, we think it's confirmed. The devil's like that. Huh? The devil possesses people to do his bidding. And when he brings that false evidence <laughs> appearing real, Huh? You, 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 you go to Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. Amen. Sister, uh, Amanda, oh, I thought you had your hand up. All right. God has given us something. He says, take the helmet of salvation. God wants you to take it and put it on. Amen? 
Keep yourself delivered at all times. Amen. Amen? Amen? Come on and give God a praise. Thank you. All right. We're going to get out of here a little early today. Thank you. That ain't, that ain't normal. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. But we certainly do thank God for the Bible class tonight. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And we praise God for all that he's doing and all that he has done. And those that are listening to us uh, virtually, you know, you have an opportunity to give through our tithing. Go to tithing uh, and uh, find us on the, in that particular app. Download it. Find Christian Ministries and you'll be able to give. We certainly do thank you and praise God for all of you that have tuned in with us. We'll continue to pray for you. We pray for us in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.